Welcome back to WFN's Real Road Trip, Southern California. It's no secret that in California, when it comes to salmon population, numbers are down. Fishing has been banned and the species are in peril. Well, Brian Stranko from California Trout is doing something about it, starting with a groundbreaking scientific report, SOS. It's not too late to reverse California's native fish crisis. Recently, we released a report on how all of our native trout, salmon, and steelhead species are doing in California. There hasn't really been a comprehensive assessment of the species statewide. We've had assessments of individual populations, but not the species statewide. So we've worked with one of the foremost experts in California fisheries, Dr. Peter Moyle at UC Davis, to develop science over two years to look at each individual species. And we have 31 species remaining in California. And what we found is pretty drastic. We found that 65% of these species will go extinct this century unless we change the way we relate to our waters. California's history is actually built a lot in how we've manipulated water. And the reason why we initially had dams set up was to begin the development of an agricultural industry. We now have uh, the largest agriculture industry in the United States. We feed quite a bit of the world with rice and a variety of other um, crops and we produce 50% of the fruits and vegetables for the United States. This is a really big industry in California. So the reason we, we built them was uh, so that we would be able to capture water and then move water around to, to get the water to fields throughout California. So we need to use a lot of the water from our rivers and streams to produce the crops we get. It took a while for the fisheries to be decimated, but what we're seeing is that for instance, uh, since 1950, we've dropped about 90% in our steelhead population statewide. That's a big drop. And the Southern California steelhead, which lives in the driest part of the state, actually has declined 99%. We at California Trout were generally shocked at the broad finding that 65% of our species are likely to go extinct this century. We didn't think it was that bad. We have had evidence uh, of individual species and sets of species here and there, but we didn't know when you put it all together it was going to be that drastic. We've only had one species go extinct in California for hundreds of years from what we know. Now we're talking about 20 or more species this century, and many of those perhaps in the next 30 to 50 years. That is a real shock, and it, it really tells us that the time for action is now, because we probably don't have too long. Dams do several things that are a problem for fisheries. First of all, they simply block access uh, for migratory fish, like a salmon or a steelhead, to their historic spawning grounds. So if a fish can't get up beyond a certain part of a river system, they obviously can't lay their eggs in, in the place that they used to be able to lay them. So we have far less rearing habitat for juvenile fish. That has really decimated populations. Secondly, though, dams actually change the character of a stream. They change the way the water flows below a dam, they, they cut down on the amount of water that flows below a dam, and then therefore the character of a stream actually changes. The stream bottom, the way it meanders and everything else, so it, it disrupts the entire habitat. We're having a really great response to this report. I'd say even better than expected. The California Department of Fish and Game is interested in working uh, on this with us, has uh, put out a statement that congratulates us and, and that they're ready to jump in and, and try to help their own programs grow and prosper. Legislators have worked with us on this and then a variety of partners. One challenging thing about organizations, advocacy organizations, conservation organizations, is that they don't always all get along. So you often have some little bit of rivalry within a community. We've really broken some of that down, I think, with the release of this report because we've got a lot of groups involved before the report even uh, was halfway through. So now we've got kind of a groundswell of groups that are interested in carrying the ball forward and interested in the same changes that we have. On top of that, hard to argue with good science. Uh, as, as Dr. Peter Moyle says, the fish don't lie. And these fish aren't lying. They're in trouble, so it's time for us all to roll up the sleeves and get something done. We have a website, caltrout.org, that anyone can go to at any time and find the report on the front page. 
We actually have the boiled down version, the 90 page version uh, on the website as well as the deeper version. So even if you're a scientist and you want to know the, the deep background on where we got these figures and these analyses, you can go to the deep science. But as the average person, you can go and you can find the, uh, the boiled down version. You can take a look at it. Maybe if you're in another state, you can start a process of trying to apply this uh, to your own state.